Welcome back to Pathologic 2. In the last episode, we were on Death's Door. I thought I had died, but not quite. We were on Death's Door since everybody thinks we are a murderer. So everybody just started punching me. But Bad Grief's people found me and took care of me and took me to the warehouse of Bad Grief, my old friend. So we're alive. Everybody still hates us, but we're alive. Uh, there's a lot of things to do, but I think one of the most important is to go to Lara Ravel's place. They're an old friend. They might be able to help us improve our reputation so people don't try to kill us on the spot. Also, they have a bed, which is super important. I'm actually... Uh, my exhaustion is almost max, so I really need to sleep soon. There's a ferryman right here. There are ferrymen in the town. They're waiting for me. So I'm going to try to take their boat up to this boat. So let's go. I remember I always had trouble getting out of the warehouse district. Because there's just like a... Or where there was, anyway, uh, a gate just around almost the entire thing. There's only a couple places you can get out. And lots of dead ends. Wait, am I going the right way? I'm not. Like, how do I get there? This looks like a gate that I can't get through. Maybe go to the train tracks. The game's rain looks so good. The rain and how everything looks wet. And the fogginess. the right way. Yes. Oh, those icons that appear up there, they're actually... Showing you the direction of the different things. The different, uh, like everything on your map. All these icons are showed up there with their direction. That's cool. Oh, an Odong's gonna take me, I think. Steeper. If you're being hunted, you'll need a weapon. Yeah, I could use one. It just so happens that no one carries firearms around these parts. It's a peaceful town. <laughs> peaceful my ass. And it just so happens that I have a revolver. But I can't give it away for free. For a reasonable price, though. Where did you get it? Our storekeeper has his way of finding curios. He orders them from the big world to be delivered by train on Big Vlad's behalf. That's all right. The master can take it. What's your price? 3,000. <laughs> what? Are you nuts? I don't have that sort of money. I can wait for two days. If you don't take it by then, I'll do business with someone else. My circumstances are humble. As for the money, you'll have no trouble getting it. Isidore must have left you inheritance. It's hard to talk about it now, I understand, but business is business. Thousands of coin in inheritance? Jeez, I hope. <clears throat> inheritance. <laughs> Suspect I'll have a hard time obtaining it. Secondly, Isidore must have taught you how to hear and pick medicinal herbs. They're in bloom now. And merchants in the broken heart would give you a decent price for them. Picking herbs sounds really good. I wonder how I find them, though. Because it says, uh, Isidore must have taught you how to hear and pick medicinal herbs. Do I hear the herbs calling to me or something? Yeah, I know a thing or two about herbs. What just got highlighted? Wait, did something get highlighted or was that a thought? 
Um, I think it was a thought. I think? Or is it this? Oh, someone's selling a revolver over here. 3,000. You won't wait forever, though. Yeah, that's the icon. Okay. Actually, can I look at it? I can. Six-chambered military-grade revolver. Imprecise, limited range. Not the most amazing durability, either. Yeah, I remember, at least with the original, it was not a shooter by any means. Like, if you had a gun and you actually had bullets for it, then you were pretty damn lucky, and you wanted to make every single round count. Because ammo was scarce, guns were scarce and expensive and hard to maintain. Yeah, you're just not going to go around shooting everyone. That's just not even practical at all. Alright, can you help me? Man, look at them. They're so interesting looking. Bodir. We believe you didn't kill our patriarch. We'll transport you along the gullet and the guzzle, the tributaries of the Gorkin, our kind river. But it will still cost you fingernails. There's no other way. Why do you believe me? Because we are ferrymen. We know from which way you came and when. The murders happened at night. You arrived in the morning. We sensed that a new person appeared in the town. We keep track of that. Very observant. Yeah, well, tell that to the townsfolk. <laughs> no one would believe us. We are ferrymen. Yeah, I forgot. The Gorkin is a kind river, but its water isn't for humans. You can't drink from the Gorkin. You ought not walk into it either. We traverse its edge. It's frightening. We need fingernails so that we can always return. I see. Well, we have one. Travel by boat. And yeah, it looks like you can go to any other boat on the map. So, let's go up to this one by... Laura Ravel's place. Oh, and it does take a amount of time, which is fair. Of course it would. So it's not instant, but probably faster than walking. The further away it is from you, the more it costs. In time, that is. Everyone costs one fingernail. Alright, let's go. The flink. Oh man, look at how fast that water is running. They said I shouldn't step into it. I guess I won't then. I don't think anything good is going to come of that. Um, I was going to check something. What was it? Oh, that person said you can sell the herbs in the broken heart? Where is that? I'm looking at the names. The abattoir, crude sprawl. I don't see anything called that. Hmm. I guess that's not the name of a region. It's maybe the name of a store or something. Are you my admirer? No, no, you're different. Warm one. Stand still, Yargachin. Can you hear it? Yes! Yes, I do. I've been hearing that for a long time, and it's disturbing. Yargachin means a butcher. What makes you think I am one? Bikara, you are a doctor who can dissect bodies. Has the right to. Knows which lines to trace with his knife. It's the same as a butcher. barely remember our tongue. How was it? Be oil gono ugi basagin. Explain, please. Come closer. Stand in front of me and wait. Wait for what? The earth is breathing. Listen to it. Stand still and listen. The earth, our mother, 
Bodo is in pain. So, Balan Yadaral, reveal her vein that she will reward you, embrace you, return your mother's embrace. I'm listening. suddenly. So that's it crying out in pain what we've been hearing. Now that we listened, has it quieted for now? I feel like a weight just got lifted off. Maybe it's just because it stopped raining. That sound, that sound still throws me for a loop. I know it's wind through the leaves, but it sounds like something else for a second before I realize what it is again. Um, where am I going again? Oh, Laura Raffles Place. That is right here. You know what? I think in the original Pathologic, things like this would be totally impenetrable lines. Like, this is the same as a fence. You wouldn't be able to go through it at all. So I almost just tried to go around it because I'm like, eh, I'm never going to be able to go through that. But no. I mean, they're bushes. Why shouldn't you be able to go through it? Can you help me out, Lara? I desperately need help. Dogs are howling. Why? How long has it been? Seven years? Seven? Maybe. You always were better with numbers. Feels like ten. Why are you giving me that look? You smell like blood. Everyone does. Trust me, I'm a surgeon. We share the same pain now. Siblings and suffering. That's why you've come to see me, isn't it? I love this music. What are you talking about? We dearly loved our fathers. Now they're both gone. Yours killed this morning. Mine this past spring after the battle at the Fords. Many terrible things happened while you were away. I'm sorry, I didn't know your father well, but I always respected him. He must have been killed in action then. Forget it, I don't want to talk about it. Why are you back? I think I now know why to take my father's place. And what will you do now? I'll find the killer, of course. You know what? You aren't going anywhere. I won't let you. Take a look at yourself. You can barely stand, let alone run around chasing some assailant. You're staying. Eat something, then get some sleep. When you wake up, we'll figure out the rest. How's that? Fair enough, I'm on my last legs. New character. Look, they're all separated into categories that are biological, blood, our father, nerves, I don't exactly know what that means, bones, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I think this must be friends, because Bad Grief and Laura Ravel are both old friends. They're both under bones. Laura's shelter is now my shelter. She's not as happy to see me as I hoped. Still, I can stay at her place. So do you know when I talk? It's uneven. Okay, no, we can still talk more. Just take whatever you need. There must be something in the cabinet in the hall. 
Should I sleep upstairs? That's where the guest rooms used to be, anyway. When we were kids. No. Don't go upstairs. It's all locked. Ever since father died, I don't go up there. Y use this bed instead. Lara, what's wrong? Why won't you look at me? Don't. Not now. Go and eat. You know it's September, don't you? Do you even remember what autumn is like here? You must eat, even if portions are small, or else you'll become feeble. Your father taught us this. I know, I know. Must I remind you that you need more sleep than usual? It's September, the step cools, the twire blooms. Have you forgotten? When did you last sleep? You're right, I haven't slept in a while. Although I did take a nap while I traveled. Can't you spare an hour or five? Yes, time is precious, so what? The worst is over. Are you afraid things might worsen still? They won't. Your father's killer won't flee. Until the next train, at least. Thank you, Laura. Though I can't shake the feeling something's not right. They lived happily ever after, and horribly ever before. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so it's not stealing to take anything I can find in the cabinets. Thank God. Sounds like they have food. That's probably their father? Sounds like they're in the military? Oh, I can sleep here on the couch. I said there's a cabinet somewhere out here. Probably this one. It's got a light right next to it. Did you say the stuff was Laura? That goes outside. That goes outside. That's a piano. I just looked at every one of these things. Um I'll check upstairs, I guess. Even though they said don't go upstairs, everything's locked. This isn't locked. That is. Uh, the changeling? What are you doing here? Reminds me of a creature from one of one of uh, Ice Pick Lodge's other games called The Void. Reminds me a little bit of them. I, and nothing in here. What the hell? The left hand doesn't know what the right's <clears throat> up to, and the right doesn't know the left's secrets. Got any idea where she keeps bread? The shelves are empty. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm wondering the same thing, but I'm guessing you took it. Hi, thief. Says a ripper. Sort of. I'm a surgeon. Do you believe in divination, Brock? No, I don't. Well, that makes things harder. Because you're going to do something awful, and I could have saved you the disgrace. But I guess you'd rather stay gloomy, self-centered, and bullheaded. Am I right? I'm going to disgrace myself. You'll spill a ton of blood, Brock. Tremendous amounts. A river of blood. Family blood. Beloved blood. You'll drown this town in blood. And soon. Unless you trust me. 
I don't understand. It's simple, idiot. Whatever you wanted to do, don't. Drop your plans. You aren't bringing your father back. Saving lives is my business. No, it's mine. I'm a doctor. As am I. A better one than you. Wanna bet? Listen to me. You need to leave town. Now. If you must stay, lay low. Do nothing. The less you do, the less grief you'll bring to those around you. Abandon your schemes. I'll handle it on my own. It'll be glorious. You'll see. And just as I read that, they had that creepy smile. What are you going to do? Whatever it takes. It's all going to hell and soon. We're halfway there now. Just stay still. Trust me, will you? I'm your sister. Your double. And I know what must be done. I know a great deal, Barack. The future is open to me. Prove it. Your life lessons will prove me right. But heed my words. Whenever you want to do something, don't. You'll just make it worse. You'll be the demise of your hometown. You'll drown it with blood. I'll think about it. <laughs> Light feet and heavy heart, huh? <clears throat> it should be the other way around. The other option there was much harsher words for them. Basically, get the fuck out of here or I'm going to hurt you if I see you again. Which, I mean, fair, they just said some horrible things. I'm curious what would actually happen if I did nothing. I mean, I can't actually do literally nothing. Obviously, I need to eat food and sleep and stuff. But what if I literally tried to do no quests at all? Because as far as I know, you could probably finish the game that way. Because time continues progressing. So if you if all you did was just purely try to find food and sleep and whatnot and didn't make any decisions for anything else or bother with any of the quests, what would happen? But it'd be so miserable, wouldn't it? Like imagine Imagine having all these things that you know you can try to help with, all these problems and all these leads and all of these mysteries and then you just sit back and do nothing do nothing but just rummage around in trash bins to get food and water and sleep that'd be so miserable like the fact that i can do something it feels like i must anyway yeah everything's always gone when i go to look for it here and then before this it was at bad grief's place where they said that they had some surgeon's tools for me and then there was nothing actually there so that kind of sucks. No food. Laura, you got some secret food. You got a little cubby somewhere? If you tarry, you'll die unshriven. Why did you go upstairs? I told you there's nothing to see there. No, I'm just going to dodge that question. You have a guest. No one's there. Everything's locked up. Get some sleep this instant. Your hallucinations scare me. Hmm? They're refusing to accept that they exist. I mean, they could be right. Maybe I am just hallucinating them. Some creepy brats up there just grinning. Said a bunch of nasty things to me. Barack, to bed now. You're seeing non-existent girls. Give it half an hour and you'll imagine even scarier monsters. Have some pity on my nerves. Go to bed. Fine, I'm not one to pry into the secrets of others. I totally am. So what did that just do? This thing? I'm not even sure there was a girl am I seeing things. It's been foretold I will spill a river of blood soon. Guess someone will find their death under my knife after all. An odd guest visited Lara's house. I'm not superstitious, but I feel that she's not entirely human. Definitely not. I mean, her name is the Changeling. 
if nothing else. Let's sleep before I drop dead. I can only sleep for at a max six hours at a time. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting ten hour sleeps in this game. It's not really that sort of thing. One sparrow is not enough to feed twelve mouths. Let's try an hour and see what it does to our exhaustion. Um... Hmm. Who are these three people? I don't recognize them. Restless one. My name was Jacob Sterk. Worked in shipping. Two marriages, both happy. Brought up a daughter. Friends woke me up in the night. They were getting a posse together to catch old Kane's killer. We ambushed him at the station. That's where I was killed with my own knife, no less. Oh, these are the three people that I killed. Kane, don't you mean Barack? Yeah, I was wondering what's... What's going on with Isidore Barack was killed and also Kane was killed? I'm sorry. I was called Kirik. It was my idea to catch the murderer at the station, so we lay in ambush. The train came. A man got off. Get him, boys, I cried. That was stupid of me. The killer would be getting on, not off. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say I'm sorry to all of them. They called me Bertie, short for Bertrand, and that's one of the kinder nicknames. Bertie was fine, a name's just a name. I got murdered at the station last night, didn't rightly know what I was doing there, figured I just went along with the herd. <laughs> this option is darkly humorous, with a name like that it must have been a tough life. It'll be better now. <laughs> I'm sorry Bertrand. God, a talon. Or executor. Did you enjoy your little chats? They don't blame you, as you saw. I suppose they haven't quite come to terms with their fates yet. Or perhaps they have. Death does that to people. If I could only fix it. I'll tell you a story. Once there was a man who wanted to fix everything. He begged on bended knee for a chance to turn back time, and when he got it, history repeated itself. Good job, we told him. That's your fate. He asked us, once more? So? So we let him try once more, but with a catch. He who denies his fates will be punished. He'll keep living as a cripple, lame, wounded, See where I'm going with this? I do. Shall we try? Oh! Do we... Are we actually doing this again? And <laughs> the executor's just back there. Oh, making sure I stay. Press 3 to take out your weapon. This is a knife. Well, if I'm going to scare them off, I shouldn't stab them. We should do fists. This is not working. 
Oh man, fighting a group is hard. Hmm. Did I really do the wrong thing? By killing them then, originally? I mean, it looks like they were ready to punch me to death. That's just self-defense, is it not? Oh wow, my health is garbage. Did that actually happen then? People like me better now? Did Laura do something? What time is it? Seven, about 7 p.m. on day one. Have things changed? Um. You have dark circles under your eyes. Things still look bad for you, Cub, but I managed to help a little. Okay, so they are the ones who helped with my reputation. So that dream, even though it seems to have really happened because my health has gone down, it wasn't a dream. I'm not going to call it a dream. Whatever happened while we were sleeping actually took our health. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy to be Cub again. I missed you, Lara. They'll come to their senses soon. You know how mobs work. I explained to the right folks you had nothing to do with Isidore's death. Women, mostly. They'll spread the news quick. Here in the flank, at least. In the chine, in backbone, you'll be safer. Thank you, Lara. I'll never forget this. Now we just need to find stock. Go ahead, but don't act surprised if you're unwelcome. How come? His dedication to Isidore. A few sons are as loyal to their fathers. He'd, he's grown cold towards you, the one who abandoned his mentor. Perhaps he thought he could replace you as Isidore's heir. Now, I bet he'll lose his mind. All in all, don't expect kindness from him. Stock is Ruben Stock, by the way. Just in case you forgot who they were. They're being mentored by Isidore Barak. Do you also think I'm a monster? You were gone for six years? You're an outsider now, and you came back on the wrong side. Maybe you didn't kill Isidore, but you killed someone, right? I didn't even need to see the blood. Your butcher's eyes told me everything. That thousand-yard stare. Well, this is an interesting answer. Butchers aren't monsters, they're workers. Mm, yeah, let's go with that. That's interesting. Butchers aren't monsters, they're workers. Lara told her neighbors that I'm innocent. The inhabitants of the nearby districts won't attack me anymore. Thank God. Okay, so what does nearby districts mean? No one cares. Nah, you're hated. No one cares. No one cares. So, these three districts? Just those three districts. Yep. Just these three. That's a very small little range of places to go. I could, of course, take a boat. Actually, can I? I don't think I have any more fingernails. Do I? No. Never mind, I can't take a boat at all. And also, I need to sleep more. Um, I should probably... A month ago? I don't remember. I should save again. Alright, one hour obviously didn't do much, so... Six. Who will take on the Whoa. responsibility for us? Are you talking to me while I'm sleeping? Someone's here from Olgimsky. They want to talk to you. Don't worry, there's no danger. Olgimsky? wonder how he found out I was here. The town hall is no longer looking for me. Town hall? The town's governor, related to Alexander Sabarov. Does that mean other districts... Ah, no one hates me anymore, so I can go everywhere. Thank God. Mm. 
messenger. Master says you're doing well. He said with each hour, fewer and fewer people think he's the murderer. He said, tell him that I want to talk. Let him come to the lump right away. Since when do people have masters in this town, boy? Don't you know? We all have but one true master since the factory was built. Perhaps Olgimski wants me in his service as well. Perhaps he does. What does he want? If he's summoning you, you must go. No dawdling, he said. Hmm. I'm not going to just run to their beck and call. <clears throat> Especially since I need to sleep more. I'll come by when I can. You tell him that. The high and the mighty of this town have finally taken notice of a Barak. The witch hunt is over. I can now go out safely. Yeah, I, the old grief boys got stabbed thing. I need to do that today. I gotta find a scalpel. But anyway, first, I need a freaking sleep. This exhaustion is not going to get me through the day, not even a tiny part of it. My heart beats uneven. It's still not the end of day one. <clears throat> Let's do four hours. Can I sleep for four hours uninterrupted, please? Oh, my health goes up too. Oh, now it's going down. Oh, because my hunger. Ah, oh, right. I got hungry while I was sleeping. The day is over. Some opportunities have been irreversibly missed, but sleep is not the only option. Certain events will unfold at night. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. For the last 24 hours, seven people have died and three people have gone missing. Time flies faster and faster with each passing day. A day is over and night for... Hold on. Sorry to interrupt you, but I need to eat, except I have no food. Technically, I have a chestnut. I am taking damage <clears throat> every second that I have max hunger, so maybe I should just eat the damn chestnut. <sighs> Fine. I did barely anything, but it's something. I won't be taking damage now. night, something will be irretrievably lost. No exhaustion, max stamina, max hunger. Shitty health. Alright, great. Nothing more to talk to you about. I don't suppose you've stocked some food? That'd be super great. There's no point in searching all these damn things again, is there? They lived happily ever after, and horribly ever before. You still here? <laughs> There's not gonna be anything. I should look upstairs, see if the changeling is still here. Were they ever there? Alright, let's go find food. 